What's good YouTube? We are back for yet another video. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. This time we're actually gonna have a discussion and that discussion is all centered around building your photography business, getting new clients. People ask me all the time, how do I get clients? And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna give y'all some of the trade secrets. You know, I'm gonna lay it down. I'm gonna give you some of my ways of how I get more clients. I'm gonna give you five tips on how to land new clients in 2020. Five strategies that I put in place, five things that I do that help me get clients all the time, whether it's word of mouth, whether it's just randomly people walk up to me and say, hey, I want you to do some things, the sorts of things you did, I want you to do something for me. So once again, I'm Mario Devon. I, I do various things. I do photography, videography, content creating overall. I've only been doing it for about two years, but in those two years, I've actually made income. I've made real income from what I do. And again, this video is all about, you know, showing you ways that I find ways to make income, to land new clients. So here we go. Number one, get your reps. I know that sounds like a crazy thing. Like, what are you talking about get your reps? So a lot of things in life, I equate to the discipline of fitness, of lifting weights. I always say, get your reps. Well, in photography, videography, I feel like the same thing. Get your reps. What that means, practice. We talking about Practice. Practice everything. Get your reps. Actually go out and do the work. Don't wait until you have clients that actually want to pay you. Then you actually start doing work. No, it's too late then. Number one is learning your craft. People will know the difference between someone that's actually taking time to learn their craft. They're gonna know the difference between someone just buying cameras, picking up cameras, not studying their craft. I always know the people that study their craft. I can tell from the conversation, the way they shoot. It's very obvious to me. It's very obvious to clients. They're looking at you like, what are, what are you doing? I told you to do this and you're doing that. I hate the way that looks. It's just, it's a whole ordeal. So an example of getting your reps. All right, so sometimes I'm actually shooting handheld or with a cinema rig and I'm also shooting with a gimbal so that means I like to keep a base plate on there I like to practice I like to practice you know me balancing the gimbal as fast as I can but also taking my camera off the gimbal shooting handheld then also taking that camera and putting it on my cinema rig taking it from that center it's a whole thing all right you, you get it it's a basically this cycle this workflow cycle you have to practice your workflow because a lot of times clients don't have time they're paying you for your time you're gonna be charging clients these rates per hour and you wanna make sure that they get the most out of that time. They wanna make sure they get the most out of that time. And that's just the shooting side. What about the editing side? You have to practice editing. You have to practice editing so that you actually can get better at it, more efficient at it, faster at it, all those things. Getting that practice not only helps you land clients, it helps you retain clients. So the next projects, they're like, yo, he knew what he was doing front and back. That guy's that, you know, you know what? That's the guy right there. You know, uh, let me keep him on speed dial. You want to under promise and over deliver. Okay, so be professional, get your reps in, know what you're talking about. Number two, let's talk about building your portfolio. I talked about getting your reps, so you're gonna do more work, but you need a place to actually put it where people can see it. You can share a link so they can actually see it. So you need a website. And speaking of website, let's talk about today's sponsor. Square Psych Art. Come on, man. I ain't got no sponsor yet. I just started 200 subscribers in. Thank you, by the way, for the 200 subscribers, but we ain't got no sponsor yet, but Either way, we can still talk about Squarespace. My website is built on Squarespace. Reason why is because I don't, I don't, I don't like to code. I've coded before. You can build your template the way you want to. You can throw all of your work on your website the way you want to organize, and it's very easy, very self-explanatory. Another thing you can do is use something like Fiverr. All right, Fiverr is like the the, the guy in New York City that's got the jacket. He's like, hey man, if you, you want watches? He's like, hey, I got slices of pizza over here. What I'm saying is Fiverr has everything, all right? Anything you want, they can do. But one of the big things that they have on there is building websites. So if you don't want to use Squarespace, you can use a WordPress. You can have someone that actually will build the website for you. Think about it is you want to spend uh, as least time possible because you want to be able to focus on your work. All right, so hire someone else to do it if that's going to save you time. It's going to cost you a little bit of money, but it's also going to make you money back when you have that website. You see, it's a full circle. So you have a website, pay for it you're gonna still make some money because people are gonna see your work, all right? So speaking of forms of an online presence, social media, listen people, I, I get it. You know, it's not a natural thing to just be so indulged and so consumed by your social media as far as like posting, but you gotta be present. The same way as people will ask for your website, 
People will ask for your Instagram handle. A lot of times people are like, hey bro, what's your Instagram? They don't care about your website. So you have to treat your Instagram the same way you would treat your website, your website portfolio. And that's yet another thing you have to keep up with. Not only use Instagram, utilize things like TikTok. TikTok is very new, it's very organic. Even me, I'm trying to figure out how can I create on TikTok because I have no idea because I'm an old man. Like, what? what I don't know what the kids like, I have no idea. So my thing is find a way, strategize. Even with video, there's a way, and I may show y'all a video, show you a video on that too, that you can balance your camera vertically on a gimbal. You can get that vertical video that actually fits TikTok very well. Let's take it a step further, not only TikTok, LinkedIn. All right, so, so I'm gonna give y'all a gem. All right, this is right here, this is gold. LinkedIn is how you build business with businesses. You wanna get into the B2B world, Start posting on LinkedIn. Post your work on LinkedIn because you gotta understand something about LinkedIn. You're dealing with businesses. They got money. They're not afraid to spend that money. Most businesses understand why content is important to invest in. Most businesses know that video content is kind of like the king right now. That video content costs more than photo content. So I'm just saying this is a way for you to make more money. So if you, you know, go back to step one, get your reps. When you get your reps and learn video, this is another opportunity where you can make more income income from businesses. Now I'm about to give you a real secret, fitness influencers. Fitness influencers, the good ones, the ones that actually are, are very honest with their business and don't mind paying you, they will pay you up front. I worked with a fitness influencer once and she looked at my work and she was like, I really like your work, when can we shoot us? And you let me know. She was like, oh, I, I wanna go ahead and pay for four hours of your time. I was like, oh, okay, well, you let me know when you wanna do this. She's like, no, 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 I'm gonna do it now. It's like, oh, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna shoot now? She's like, no, no, I'm gonna pay you now. Cause I wanna make sure nobody else takes something. I'm just saying, fitness influencers, they will pay you upfront. They will pay you on time. So I recommend the same way you see me do a lot of this fitness work, I recommend you do the same thing. All right, just go and learn that, get your reps. Learn that because it's a lot of money. So go on social media, go on your Instagram and look at the fitness influencers. You will see that they're shooting professional content. Shot by people like me, you, your mama, everybody that shoots professionally for a living, all right? So keep that in mind. A lot of money is in the fitness influencer business. The whole point of social media is to reach people you wouldn't otherwise reach through conventional marketing approaches, all right? It's there and people may just see your work on the feed and reach out. I've had people that have flown in to Nashville, Tennessee, have used the Nashville photographer hashtag just to find someone that can shoot. See my work, reach out to me, and I land a client that I've never met in my entire life, that I've never spoken to, off of just using social media properly, using the hashtags in your location, in your niche, things of that matter. It helps a lot because people can find you. You wanna make it easy for people to find you, and that's why using social media comes in handy in most cases for me personally in my business. Number four, quattro. It's very important for you to be present. What I care about is you making sure that you put your face out there. All right, making sure that you go and talk to people. One of the things that people don't understand as creators is that it's so important to actually be able to get rapport with people. How can you be able to collaborate and work with people and bring their vision to life if you don't know how to talk to people? Talking to people is going to help you on your shoot. Like say for instance, you want the model to move here, move there, do this, do that. Knowing how to actually interact with people will be actually very helpful. You know, you don't have to be an extrovert. You can be a very introverted person, but you still have to know your way around conversing and collaborating with people. So get out there and collaborate with other creators. Get to know other creators, network. I always, you know, people always say your network is your net worth, all those things. But what I'm saying is just get out here and actually show your face. People don't know that you are a photographer or videographer unless you tell them. The only way to tell them is to actually get out there and do it. So of course, yeah, use your social media, but the best way to get more clients is to actually meet people. I've never labeled myself as like the most talented creator. I, I know that there are other creators out there that are better than me, but I also know that there are not many creators that are out there better than me at interacting with people. That's the main way I know I can retain clients is that I want to be a pleasure to work with. Be present in your shoots. Be present, make sure that you are under promising, but over delivering. Also have business cards. 
it's no excuse to not have business cards now. They're so affordable. Not only do you have to have business cards, but have a business card holder so that when people are actually pop up in your face and say, hey, do you have a business card? I would love to see your work and work with you. A lot of times people don't wanna see your website. A lot of times people don't wanna see your Instagram. Most times they do, but every once in a while, you're gonna have that one person that's like, do you have a business card? And you not having a business card makes you look unprofessional. Even if you say, oh, I don't have a business card, but here's my Instagram, doesn't matter. The fact that you didn't have a business card ready for them, you already lost rapport with them. So I'm just saying, be present in that. What I mean by be present is be cognitive of all the multiple ways people may want to get in touch with you. I want you to be cognitive of your environment. I want you to be cognitive of your interactions with people because that one interaction with a person could actually cost you business because they're gonna tell other people. Word of mouth is the best way to get business, but it's also the best way to lose business. So be present, interact with people, talk to people, network with people, collaborate with people, all right? That's gonna be one of the biggest ways you grow your business is through your personal reputation. Number five, you're gonna hate number five. Most people, when I tell them about number five, they hate it like, no, Mario, I refuse, you, no! If I'm picking up the camera, I'm gonna get paid for it. I don't, I don't, I don't press the record button unless there's cash out. Free work actually is full circle back to getting your reps. Do free work. You think you're gonna build your portfolio on all paid work? You think people are just gonna come out the gate just every time you wanna shoot something that someone's paying you? It doesn't work like that. To build your portfolio, you actually have to start doing some personal projects. Be creative, build a YouTube channel. Do all kinds of things. This is what I do, all right? I'm, I'm giving you the secret. I have a list of people that I work with, my go-to people that I know I can do free work for, but I'm gonna reap the benefits. So, for the breakdown of strategy. So one month, I actually had a number of fitness influencers that reached out to me, and I reached out to a number of fitness influencers. I was trying to build something. I was trying to build this strategy that I wanted to test, and I'm gonna give it to you for free. I'm giving you this for free. I shot four fitness videos. Keep in mind, Free clients can't rush you for free work. So you can take your time on it. So for me, I took my time to build a strategy. I wanted to get done with all four videos at the same time, have them all done and ready to go. And I wanted to send them out at the same time. The goal here is to make sure the content is so good that they're gonna post it that same week. Maybe they're gonna post it tomorrow, maybe they're gonna post it two, three days from now. So the strategy is they're gonna end up posting that. All four people ended up posting their stuff during the week. What happens is in a location, say for instance, Nashville, these people are all located in Nashville, I dominated the feed. Every time someone posted, that was my name again on some dope work. My name just kept popping up. Within one or maybe two days, people had seen four examples of my work that were really good. So what that does, it sparks interest because now you've dominated feed. You got so many eyes that are watching you. You gotta land some clients. So within that same week, I landed for an incline. So for the free work that I had done, which was easy work, only one minute videos for Instagram, I was able to land clients, four clients that actually wanted more than one minute of video. What I'm saying is a trade off. Doing free work is not a bad thing. Doing free work helps you do two things. One, it helps you build your portfolio. Number two, it helps you actually put your work out there so more people can see it. I remember I shot a music video for free for a client. And the only reason I shot a music video for free is because I wanted to land other music video clients. Last thing about free work. Make sure that the people you work with, if you have a project, a YouTube thing, a product review, try to find where your visions align. Find out what that person that you're giving free work needs and find out what you need and kind of make sure they kind of align and match. So that's it. These are the five I'm giving you today for 2020. Thank you so much for watching. For the next video, you know, I know you want more camera reviews. I got some stuff. I got, you know, I got some new stuff that I've been sent and some stuff I purchased. So glad to have you here. Hope you all are having a good week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We can have a discussion about this back and forth. And I know it's gonna be somebody in the comments that's mad about me with that free work one so you know bring it I'm not afraid of you but either way hit me down in the comments below i will see y'all on the next video peace out